टेन स्टैंडर्ड सोशल साइंस एडिशनल क्वेश्चन विद आंसर्स जियोग्रफी चाप्टर फोर्टीन इंडिया वाटर रिसोर्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी वॉच द टेक्स्ट बुक क्वेश्चन विद आंसर्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच दम अगेन लिंक्स आर गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन वाटर इज एन इंपार्टेंट नैचुरल रिसोर्स वाई इट ईज one of the basic requirements of human beings it is a national property this is being used for irrigation hydroelectric power generation industry domestic use transportation fisheries recreational purposes the various types of irrigation are in use in different places why the water requirement for agriculture distribution of rainfall physical features types of crops the types of agricultural methods used due to all these reasons the various types of irrigation are in use in different places mention the types of irrigation found in india well irrigation canal irrigation tank irrigation what is well irrigation explain its uses supplying ground water by digging or drilling wells is called well irrigation it is more useful in low rainfall regions construction and maintenance of wells is easier it becomes essential where the canals and tanks are not available tanks are not available it provides water to large areas of agricultural land write the meaning of flood canals and perennial canals flood canals when the river level is high excess the when the river level is high the excess water passes through the canals these are called flood canals perennial canals dams are constructed across the rivers and water is stored in the reservoirs this water is provided for agriculture through canals which are called perennial canals write a note on damodar river valley project this is the most this is the first multi purpose river valley project of independent india this project is the joint venture between the states of west bengal and bihar to prevent destructions by damodar river this project was taken up dams have been constructed across damodar river and its tributaries at tilaiya maitan konar and panchet hill thermal power stations have been established at bokaro chandrapur and durgapur west bengal and jharkhand have been benefited from this project let's move to question number 7 write a note on bakra nangal project it is the highest multi purpose river valley project of india this is the joint venture between punjab haryana and rajasthan dams are constructed at bakra and nangal of himachal pradesh across the satluj river the dam at bakra is the highest in project delhi and himachal pradesh have benefited from this project the reservoir created by this dam is called go in the sagar write a note on koshi project the main objective of this project was to prevent floods this is a joint project between india and nepal A dam is built across Kosi River at Hanuman Nagar. Fifty percent of the hydroelectric power generated by this project is supplied to Nepal.
write a note on hirakud project this project is constructed across the mahanadi in orissa this river was known as sor of orissa hirakud is the longest dam in the country this project provides irrigation facilities to orissa jharkhand and chatisgarh states write a note on tungabhadra project irrigation and generation of hydroelectric power are the main objectives of this project it is established jointly by karnataka and andhra pradesh states this dam is built across tungabhadra river at mallapur it provides hydroelectric power in andhra pradesh and karnataka the reservoir is called pampa sagara write a note on upper krishna this is a major project of karnataka this project provides irrigation and drinking water to bijapur bagalkot raichur and gulbarga districts it is constructed across the river krishna near mal almatti this has resulted in the formation of lal bahadur shastri reservoir another dam is built near narayanpura the name of the reservoir is basava sagara mention important hydroelectric power generation centers of karnataka shivana samudra tungabhadra jog bhadra almatti kali mention important hydroelectric power generation centers of andhra pradesh nagarjun sagar shri shailam project ramapada sagar project sileru project mention important hydroelectric power generation centers of tamil nadu mettur project paikara electric project periyar project kunda project moyar project kodayar project mention important hydroelectric power generation centers of madhya pradesh बनसागर गांधी सागर पांच योजना मेंशन इंपॉर्टेंट हाइड्रोइलेक्ट्रिक पावर जनरेशन सेंटर्स ऑफ महाराष्ट्र टाटा हाइड्रोइलेक्ट्रिक पावर प्रोजेक्ट बीरा प्रोजेक्ट वैतराना प्रोजेक्ट कोयना प्रोजेक्ट mention important hydroelectric power generation centers of orissa hirakud project kolaja project rangali project naraja project mention important hydroelectric power generation centers of bihar kosi project suvarna reka project tawa project mention important hydroelectric power generation centers of gujarat kakrapara project kadana project ukai project explain the importance of national power grid india generates powers from various sources all the states do not have sufficient electric power supply at all times hence to supply power from surplus states two deficit states a national power grid is established with itself excess power from any state can be supplied to any other power deficit state what is rain water harvesting mention its types collection of rain water is called rain water harvesting its types are collection of water at the place of rainfall example roof tops of houses and buildings collection of flowing rain water example building burns and collecting water 
mention the methods of rain water harvesting using the water collected from roofs tops reduces the dependence on the public water supply digging ponds in agricultural areas and collecting water building check dams to prevent the flow of water and allowing it to percolate to increase of the groundwater table not only individuals even communities can engage themselves in constructing bunds or digging small ponds to collect the rain water what is recharging building check dams to prevent the flow of water and allowing it to percolate to increase of the groundwater table this is called recharging